Donna over at Never in the Kitchen extended an invitation for us all to join in on a decluttering challenge. And my plan was to hit that big entertainment center in my living room, but my grandson spent a second week with me and there is a ton of electronics in there, way more than I want to um, take out with little hands helping. So I decided instead to hit this behind me, this china cabinet. I am the world's worst about just tossing things in there, especially in the bottom. The top, you'll see I've left um, one odd thing sitting here. There's a mug with some coloring pencils in it. They're going to stay there until he goes home because we do use those every day. And a lot of the stuff in the top stays there. This is where I keep it. But the bottom, I had kind of shuffled things in there. I have filmed what I did. It's kind of a tight spot, so I had to kind of film it. Not me doing it, but take photos and add to it. So I did my first voiceover. It wasn't perfect, but I'll get there. And, well, I won't get there to perfect, but close enough. Anyway, got that done to show you guys and I'm actually pretty pleased I managed to get everything put away everything had homes I just didn't put it in the right spots in a rush tossed it all in there so everything's back in its proper spot and thank you Donna for inviting us to participate and if you guys get a chance go check out and see who else did the cluttering and what they did and check out Donna's channel she's Got a good variety of things, and I love her cleaning videos, but I really love her retro kitchen recipes. Um, one, you guys know, if you watch my channel, I love to cook. Two, I love to watch other people cook. And three, um, I like that she gives just flat out honest reviews. She's like, well, this was okay. This wasn't anything to write home about. This was not something we're going to eat again. She'll say, you know, sometimes, hey, I've tried something. I'm not going to eat this can't beat that. That's real life. That's how it goes sometimes. So Donna, thanks for inviting us to participate. So I started out my favorite mini slippers and decided there was no way I was going to tackle the big cabinet. So I hit my china cabinet. Things have a tendency to get piled in the bottom and you can see that my candle drawers were just kind of packed, slammed full and tossed and turned. One had next to nothing in it, and then the other was just a jumbled mess. Realized quickly I was going to need an empty basket to be able to put things in. Oh, here's the jumbled mess one, and I got everything all in one. Had one empty drawer when I finished, and was able to get all the big stuff back into the second one. And I had stuff that had migrated down bottom that I got everything back to straightened out. That is all my overflow dishes that we do use pretty regularly. Some of them were my grandmother's. And there's the stack of stuff I had to put away. Guys, thanks for watching. See you soon.